So the type of home ownership, are you a renter or owner? Owner. The type of structure, single family, detached, townhome, multi-unit condo, apartment? Uh, single family. Okay. And the date you approximately moved in? 2003. Okay. Have you always lived in Blakely? I have. Okay. Uh, tell me how your family ended up in Blakely. Born and raised. Born and yeah, raised? Yeah. You got generations that's uh, been here? Yeah. Okay. Like your parents, were they like farmers or? Well, my dad was a farmer and my mother was a nurse. Oh, okay. That's awesome. Went back to nursing school when she was 49 years old. Oh, really? That was awesome. That's awesome. That is really awesome. That is awesome. I love when I hear y'all say generations. You know, in one location. We have been very fortunate. Our generation probably have lived in the best times this country ever saw. Yeah, that is and really And we awesome. had a little of the other, too. Yeah, and then you have grandkids that are I still did. here. Have, kids. Wow, that's and they're awesome. from uh, four years old to 12. Oh, that's awesome. They're still in them tender young age. One lives about 1,200 feet from us. Oh! Another about a mile and a half. Oh, so they're all close by right, too. Right. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That is really awesome. And so, could you tell me a little bit about the kind of home you live in, like the amount of bedrooms, square footage, and bathrooms? Uh, three bedrooms. Okay. Uh, Twenty seven hundred square feet. And two bath. Uh, two and a half. Okay, two and a half. And you said twenty seven hundred yeah. square foot. Okay. And then, is it all brick, vinyl? Vinyl. Okay. And then, what type of roof do you have? Uh, shingle roof. Okay. Okay. And then, have you invested in solar, either on the rooftop of your home, on your property, as part of your business, or as part of a program through your utility company? No. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, tell me why you do not have rooftop solar, or uh, did you make the de that decision, or was it made for you? Um, the economics have not, at this point, reached mm -hmm. the point where I think it, the payback is mm -hmm. still not, it's still too far out. Oh, okay. Yeah. So can you tell me a little bit about the panels um, that the, you... The ones that, that are on the solar... Yes, sir. There's 330 watt panels each. Is this at your home? No, this no, this is at the at the solar farm. At the solar farm? Yeah. Is this the farm you're doing? And you're, it is. Oh, okay. Is. So you well, have. I lease the property to this company, and they're doing it. Oh, okay. And so, what are y'all doing with this this uh, solar okay, panel? Okay, it is a right at a 25 acre project. Uh huh. And. Uh, Inman Solar out of Atlanta is mm -hmm. they're doing the build out on it and what they usually do after they build it out mm -hmm. is they will sell their lease that they have to me uh -huh. to this to some other big company right and they will then maintain there's a lot of things on these things that I don't understand Mm -hmm. tax benefits, and then right. they, all the energy will be sold to Georgia Power. Oh. And uh, we're on the Georgia Power line. If it was if it was uh, one of the EMCs, then it would mm -hmm. be to them. But this uh, particular farm, I, there's about 10,000 panels on it. 10,000 panels. And it will... Furnish enough energy uh, to support about six hundred homes. Six hundred homes. Yeah, that's amazing from uh, from a standpoint of it's just twenty five acres. Right. Yeah, but now the thing is now that's during sunlight conditions. Right. Yeah. And uh, the big thing in solar, from what I understand, with them, and it's probably five ten years away. Mm -hmm. is storage, the battery technology. Right. To where they can charge these batteries during the day and mm -hmm. then they'll discharge at night. Right. So they're, saving, they're producing more uh, 
well, I won't say they're producing more than is used because mm-hmm. they're putting it in the line. Right. For Georgia Power. So the solar is going back into the lines. They, Georgia Power, they do a, a build out. Solar is, is, is DC power. Right. And they convert it. They've got all these inverters that convert it back to AC. Uh huh. And then they run it through a transformer that sends it to Georgia Power's transformer. Uh-huh. And then they put it back in the line. And this is part of it I don't understand. It's a two way street, really, because uh-huh. they've got power coming in uh-huh. because these panels tilt as the sun. When the sun comes up in the morning, they're pointed toward it. Right. As it rotates during the day, they, they rotate with the sun. Oh, the panels are in rotation yeah. with the yeah, sun. Yeah, they rotate. They've got them through uh, GPS or something, and they, they know it's all computerized. And right. They, and then they've also got a, a wind speed monitor. Uh-huh. Because at time, sometimes they're, they're almost like that. Yeah. And if the wind gets up to a certain point, it'll rotate them flat. Right. Where it can't get a big bite on them. Right. Keep them, tear them up. It's been an interesting process to watch this Mm -hmm. build out. Yeah. But uh, I think on this one they have 26 inverters uh, changing it from DC to AC. Wow. And uh, it's 660 volts AC, and I believe they said there was 1,300 and something DC volts going in. Okay. So how long has this been going on, this project here? Uh, They broke ground in April. Oh, they just did that this year? Yeah, they just just broke ground in April, and uh, they, uh, it's ready to go. They're doing... It should be online probably, maybe online next week. They have everything's hooked up. They're uh-huh. doing te- last minute testing, uh-huh. make sure everything's right, and then they will. Uh, they'll plus they're getting the last paper signed too. That's yeah. So are these going to be for the six hundred homes? Are these new homes? Well, it, it just, that was just something they told, that's how many it would furnish. It, oh. just, goes, it just goes into the grid. Oh, it's just going to go to every home. It goes into home. the grid and goes back to the main substation and, you know, it just goes out from there. So what are they trying to see as far as with these panels and electricity? What are they trying to see what it does? Well, I kind of understand that some of these power companies are mandated to have so much green energy. Oh, okay. And that's kind of where they're going from there. The way this thing came about is I got a paper in the mail. Mm-hmm. I almost threw it in the trash can. <laughs> and it said, you know, your place is one of the places that is being looked at mm-hmm. for solar energy. Mm-hmm. And they had a lot of a big description of the property so I said well I called the guy Mm -hmm. and he came down and met with me Mm -hmm. and what they do initially well like on the one they're doing at Mm -hmm. home is they just give you a fee for a six month option Mm -hmm. all this goes into a pool and then Georgia Power or one of the other power companies review these things and they pick, well, this one looks like it'll be good for us, or that one looks like it'll be, and they pull them out. And mm-hmm. then once they pull them out, then you sign another paper mm-hmm. for it, and they pay you some. The first one, they don't pay you a lot for it. You just, right. they give you 100 bucks for six months just to throw it in. Mm-hmm. And then the next one, if it's pool, then they give you, some more earnest money. Okay. And then they have to do all the environmental studies. Uh huh. And such as that. And if something goes awry there, then the thing may be scrapped. But mm-hmm. if everything goes well, the, the time span on this was last year in June. Uh huh. I think it was, was when we did the first initial thing. Yeah. And then 
I didn't hear anything from them. Mm. I had forgotten about it, really. Mm -hmm. They told me it'd be, you know, five months at the best. Mm -hmm. And then they called me and said, well, yours was full. Oh. That was November. And they said, we're 90% sure that it'll probably go. So uh, they said, we'll know for sure in two weeks. So in two weeks, they called and said, it's, it's go. Mm -hmm. We want to come down and get this other paper signed and, and uh, start from there. So they did, and they had initially wanted to start construction in January or February, but the weather we had and we oh, yeah. just couldn't. Right. So uh, they, uh, we got everything signed, and they were able to start in April, and wow. things have flowed pretty good. They fenced it. They put about a, I think it's an eight foot fence, mm -hmm. chain link fence around it. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and this is on your property, yeah, right? Yeah. Wow. And they give you a 30, I've got a 35 year lease. Whoa. I'll be dead and gone. Right. And, and they have an option to renew for another five years. So you're the next person yeah, in line in your family daughter, yeah, would have yeah. to take over yeah. and continue it. Yeah. And uh, and in the leases, if they decide at the end of the lease, they're to put it back in the same condition it was when they started, which it was agricultural land. Right. And if, uh, you know, you always have these things you have concern about. What if they go bankrupt or something like that? But there's a lot of guidelines oh. in the lease for that. But, uh, mm -hmm. but it's a pretty good deal for the county, too, because yeah. I mean, it doesn't create jobs. You have 25 people coming here during construction that are staying locally and eating locally, but after mm -hmm. it's completed, they're gone. Right. But it's this particular one will give uh, the county about $30,000 in taxes. Wow. Off the property, the, the equipment is mm -hmm. three point three million million plus. So they get a tax credit. You're... The, the, whoever is the, winds up being the owner, uh -huh. they get some kind of tax credits. That's wow. Their, that's their advantage. Yeah. And uh, so, let me tell the people I call them. <laughs> I customize it. And uh, they, you know, I don't know all the mechanics of that, how the tax credits work, uh, uh -huh. but I, I do know that Georgia Power buys the power. Oh, that's and, awesome. Uh, and it goes into the grid, and uh, they, now you take, your, I don't know, are you familiar with the one going in and tweaks? Yeah, they've been telling me about that. I think it's probably uh, 2000 Wow. I, I, I have seen a little, little on, on it that, that uh, it will probably supply $35,000. Wow. It's, and that could actually cover majority yeah. of this oh, county. Yeah, that's big, big, big. It, they're going to go into one Robbins probably a lot of it. They're right along that big power line. Right. And that, um, that makes a lot of difference if you're... Close to the power close, line? Close, close to the transmission line. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So if you had the option, would you put rooftop solar on your home? Uh, I am actually talking with the company that did this. Really? And uh, and the engineers, he's, uh -huh. he's talk, you know, talking about it. And he's, being we've been involved with this thing, he's yeah. given me a lot of insight into it. Okay. And he's working me up a plan. Really? To take a look at it, and uh, so. So what are you? What are you hoping? I guess what are they saying? If they put the rooftop solar panels on your home, would that take care of your electricity no, bill? No, it, it well during the day it would take care of some of, and they do have some storage capacity on, that you can buy now. It's mm -hmm. not as efficient as what's coming down the line. Right. But you, you basically it's batteries. Right. And you you know, they'll charge during the day. Mm -hmm. But usually on the on the rooftop, uh, you probably would have 
in the neighborhood of 4,000 watts. So is this going to is this going to be a discount? Your right, it'll, it'll run your it'll, lights. It'll run your refrigerator, and if okay. you got LEDs, uh huh, you can and then cut your power source on your lights to the point that uh, you run you you can run your uh, refrigerator, you can run your microwave, or such as that. So is it enough where it's going to cover like your um, water? Is your water pump electric? Uh, uh four thousand might would run your water. And your AC, well, of course, during the wouldn't run the AC. Okay, yeah. so are you going to get like a discount towards your Georgia Power bill? Is this how well, this is going to work? Well, the way these things work, if uh, if you generate more than you're using, it goes back in the system, and they have to, have to pay you for it. Whoa! Now they don't pay you a lot. I think it's five cents a kilowatt or something like that. Right. But it's still, you know, if you. If you're not using a lot during the day, you can. Right. But the payout right now is, they're talking probably 15 years to pay out putting it in. Oh, yeah. to get, okay. okay. And then you got cloudy days or rainy days. Right. That is awesome. Okay. So when you're thinking about getting it installed? <laughs> Maybe next year? Maybe. If, okay. If, if we, you know. Everything works out. Works out. Right. And, and I'm fortunate to have the engineers that yeah that are working on this one that they give me all this insight into. Right. It. Because they say, you know, we would have it on our home. Right. right. Now we there's been a lot of progress made in the in the panels. Mm-hmm. They have come down in price. Okay. And uh these panels were made in Vietnam. Really? Yeah, they, they were shipped from Vietnam. I didn't know that. Yeah, they, we had been, a lot of them had been being made in China. Right. And they're, you know, shipped in production to other places. Mm-hmm. To, uh, I did not know that. They what probably, the? these may have been made in China, and they just sent them to Vietnam and shipped right. them to there. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, that is right. So this here is a map of the U.S. And I would like you to check off where you think there is rooftop solar in oh these states. God. In the states? Yeah. Just check. It's no right or wrong answer. Okay. It's just a guess on where you think there is rooftop solar. In all, any of the states? Any of the states. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. I'm just putting the ones I figure that's the most. Oh, yes, sir. Yeah, that's fine. So you got checked off California. We got Arizona, New Mexico, Texas, Alabama, Mississippi, Florida, Georgia. Well, not Mississippi. Alabama, Georgia, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Florida. Okay. So with that being said, why did you select, um, why do you think those states have um, rooftop solars? Sunshine. Sunshine. That's right. And what else? Uh, well, I, that's the main main thing. There's just more. This, you know, your sun, your daylight hours during the summer are greater. Right. And I'm sure some up in the Midwest because during the summer their daylight yeah. is greater than ours. Right. Yeah. And um, what would you say with those communities? What makes those states different from the state of Georgia? Oh. Uh, or Blakely, per se. Well, probably rooftop. Mm -hmm. Florida is probably your, uh, the people are, you know, uh, maybe the medium income. Medium, oh, so. They're uh, able to afford it, maybe. More money, more. okay. Anything else you can think of? California, they're more green energy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're different. <laughs> And uh, most all of these, you know, these rooftop stuff is is people probably better, more green energy oriented. Right. Okay. Uh, so, um, so compared to those states to Blakely, why do you think people around in Blakely just don't have it? Uh, the initial outlay is pretty. 
pretty expensive. Okay, so, so the cost. Return, you know, your return takes quite a while. So mm -hmm. I'm going to say the initial acquisition cost. Just okay. Is the main thing. Right. Probably the main thing in all of them. Right. I mean, uh, and it is, it is going down, technology. Mm -hmm. And production techniques and such as that. Okay. So in the future, I think you will probably see more of it because it'll be more feasible to do it. Oh, okay. And that makes sense, too. So we're going to look at a map. It's dollars and cents. That's right. <laughs> so we'll look at a map for um, the state of Georgia. And I don't know what I did. Did I give you that? Leave you with that folder? You still uh, have that folder? Oh no, I put it right here. Sorry. Here's the um the Georgia state of Georgia. And now I'd like you to check off the counties that you believe that have rooftop solar on their homes. And I know we talked about some of these solar panels that you've seen in different counties too. You can check that off too as well. Rooftops, it's a hard deal because. Mm -hmm. It's just not much here, and I don't. I'd just be guessing. Right. Yeah, there's no right or wrong answer. We'll and behind it is a little guide and to I help can you. Give you a lot around the, the solar farms and a lot. Of the yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that too. Okay. All right. Most around Atlanta. Right. Okay. So a lot around, you know, Atlanta area. And um, I'll put them right here on this one. Yeah, here. I'll just use that as the guide. Oh, okay. Yes, sir. So around the Atlanta area is where just you see a lot of them. Check the same. Yes, sir. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes, sir. So what makes the people from the the counties you checked off in the Atlanta area different from Blakely? Income. Income. Okay. Anything else you can think of? Green. More. Green more friendly. Green friendly. Mm-hmm. Anything else you could think of? I'd say that's, that's basically it. That's about it? Yeah. Okay. So, what down here um, in Blakely County, no, why do you think they don't have it Well, it's, it's, compared it's, to those counties? We're going back to the, the income. Income. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What about any of your close friends here in the state of Georgia? Do they have solar on their roof? None that I None that I know of. Okay. And then why do you think they don't have any? Uh, the payback. Payback? In, in, uh, I won't say income, payback period. And you might can put that on the other. The, the mm -hmm. Return, your payback period is just still way out there. Okay. So I think if you can get it down to where you seven to ten years, mm -hmm. then you probably will see more of it. But mm -hmm. As long as we're ten plus. It's just uh, less people have more money they right. want to do with. So. That is true. And then if they do, that goes to your green energy friendly. Too. Right. <laughs> so anything else you'd like to add to this no, interview? Okay. Well, thank you. I, pre I sure do appreciate you coming and talking with me. But I do have one question. Okay. If, we, if Extension was to offer programming, talking about solar energy whether it's talking about the cost, the benefits, um, installation, maintenance, do you think people in Blakely County would be more up to come? That's a good question. We don't have a lot, so mm -hmm. you got to have a lot to create interest. So. Right. Uh, probably it's more of it's added and they see it. Mm -hmm. yes, okay. They would. Uh, because there's going to be a, a need for people mm -hmm. to uh, maintain these things. Right. And and also keep keep the grass mowed, the clean around them and such as that. That's right. Okay. 